What's up everybody? Gonna be messing around with the YXZ in the garage today. Um, you spent some time on the internet, you've probably heard people talk about tuning their YXZs. Maybe you know why, maybe you don't, but we're gonna go through some of that today. Our uh, friends over at Flashtune ECU hooked us up with a software package and hardware package so you can tune these things at home on your bench. So we're gonna go through that and show you how to pull your ECU out, tune it at home. SideBySideBlog.com Garage. So step one as always, drink a beer. We've got that out of the way already. So next step, um, your ECU is under the center cover, this battery cover here. So the way these things come off real simple, you just pull up in the back and feed that thing out. Ooh, I see an ECU, Doug. There is the ECU. So this one's covered by some extra crap because I got some light bar wiring in here and some other gauge wiring. But essentially this thing's just got two plugs on it and it's held down by a rubber strap, so. How does the strap come out? Oh, okay. You just stretch it, it's got a little hook. You can unhook it from both ends if you want. And then this should pull out of here. Can't say I've actually done this in this machine yet, but. So once you get to this point, maybe you want to pull your plugs off. So simple electrical plug right, push on the tab. Real one take stuff here, guys. All right. Keeping it real. Simple. There's one. Kind of a slick little ECU. Okay. Not too bad. So there it is, just like that. Man, a couple minutes. So now we come over to the bench and we figure out how to use all this fine stuff from Flash Tune ECU. So um, there's two setups that they have for tuning ECUs. Um, one's called the bench side kit, one's called the bike side kit. So what that means, their bench side harness, um, you pull the ECU out of the bike, you set it on the bench, and that's where you tune it. You plug it into your laptop. The other kit, which is this harness here, actually wires into the harness on the machine. So then you can take your laptop to the machine, plug into the harness and tune it there. So I'm gonna do the ECU kit just so I don't have to put an extra harness on the machine and it's really simple to get out, you know, personal preference. Okay, so we got our software loaded on the computer already. Simple instructions come tell you how to do that, right? We got our ECU here, we got all the harnesses out. So we're gonna start by plugging the ECU in. Um, Start with this harness here. This is the bench side kit. So you're gonna look for the plug with the with the two little tabs on the bottom. That's gonna interface with those two little slots. Make sure you got it in the right one. Snap that guy in, real simple. There's a uh, there's a power adapter. Just plugs into a, a wall socket and then plugs into your bench side harness just like that. And then we've got the USB harness that plugs into your laptop. And then we'll go right here. I think. Okay, so we got our ECU hooked up. Um, this is the screen that's going to pop up when you open your software for the first time. You're not going to have an account, so you're going to click that you understand and agree after you've read all the terms and conditions, and then uh, go ahead and click register. But do you agree, though? I absolutely agree. If this thing's going to make power and get rid of my speed limiter and raise my rev limiter, I agree to basically anything. So. <laughs> I don't know how it works. It's just black magic. I it guess. works. So I think there's like, there's. My understanding is that there's like, there's like lightning bolts in here. Oh. That they shoot out and they make your make your engine run. So I think this basically just puts like more powerful lightning bolts in this in this box. Probably so, the Coriolis effect. Right. So, anyways, do you have FTECU hardware ready to go? Yes, we do. We are all plugged in. Please connect USB. Look at that. It's just going on its own. So, looks like we want an email and a password now. MasterDoug69 at yahoo.com. <laughs> password, uh, I love YXZ 6969. So, I agree again. I'm registering. Account has been created, ready to use. Would you like to download installation documents? I would. Nice. FTECU's got this figured out, dude. Okay, all right, we're seeing something now. We got an interface coming up. Look at that. 
We got all sorts of stuff. Stock ECU images, unrestricted ECU images, third-party ECU images, all sorts of tunes. So I imagine we can maybe look at the settings here. Oh okay. wow, look at that. So here's our uh, here's our rev limiter. 10.5, 10.5. Okay, I'm all, I'm all right with that. Um, oh, soft limiters. Oh, that's interesting. So they set a soft rev limit so maybe they start to pull timing at 10.5 okay and then the hard high is at 10.950 so they've got a okay wow interesting all right so we've got a soft limiter that comes in at 10.5 and, and a hard limiter that comes in at 10.95 so actually going to rev a little higher that's cool sick uh fan temps fan comes on at 196 high 204 that so, seems good yeah yeah, we'll see. I might I might play with that a little bit. I think it's got a 160 thermostat on it, so... Really? Potentially, when we go over to Glamis, and it's 100 freaking degrees out, I might knock these fan temps down a little bit, but we'll leave them where they're at for now. So, we're definitely adding fuel with that bad boy. Wow. Wow, yeah, this is awesome. You got all sorts of capability here. Um, throttle position sensor versus RPM per cylinder. Wow, you can tune per cylinder. What? Dude. This is this is awesome, awesome I, capability. Look at all those numbers. I feel like it's a bad game of minesweeper. Right, right. There's probably a bomb in that upper right corner, dude. So I guess the recommendation here is, uh, you know, you can easily get yourself in trouble with this kind of capability, right? Unless you really know what you're doing. So With big power comes big responsibility. It's going to be tempting to go in and just, you know, add a little bit more timing and yada yada. And I just, I, I wouldn't really do that unless you're, you know, either comfortable with the wrists or really know what you're doing. So, you know, if you've got a, if you've got an air fuel gauge and you want to, you know, start messing around a little bit more and you want to put a little better fuel in and turn the timing up, that's up to you. But, um... I'm guessing their uh, maps they send are pretty dang good. So we're just gonna load one of those to start and then see how it runs. Okay, so we're all hooked up. We, uh, we got a tune picked out, so we're gonna go ahead and write this ECU. I guess it's worth mentioning when you buy this setup, you're gonna get a license. So that license is going to associate itself with one ECU. You're gonna be able to tune one ECU and you're gonna be able to do that as many times as you want, but you're not just gonna be able to go and write all your buddies ECUs, right? So. You can do it, and you can use this software and this hardware, but you're going to have to purchase additional licenses from Flashtune. So not a big deal. The new licenses are real cheap compared to sending it out to somebody else, you know, and having it having it done, you know, third party, I guess. But uh, you're not going to be able to just go hog wild and tune 100 ECUs here. So we're plugged in. We're going to go to device. We're just going to click right ECU, and I think that's going to do exactly what it says. Connect ECU or key on, we've done that, okay. Ooh, what'd it say, I missed it. No registered ECU found, attempt to marry to Virgin license. So, um, yes, so Virgin license, I take it that you know means we've got an open license, which we do. So we're gonna go ahead and marry this ECU, which is mine, to that license. So, erasing ECU. Oh no. I think we got it figured out. No. <laughs> It's working. Status. Begin writing. Writing. Wow. That's, I mean, there must be a lot of data there, but wow. This is exciting. It's going. Uh, there is a lot of data there, man. If there's, you know, individual maps for each cylinder, for each gear, that's a lot of, that's a lot of information. Right. So. Woohoo, right, successful. There it is. So, takes a few minutes, no big deal. Um, says you may disconnect, so I'm just going to pull the, I'm going to pull the power off. And then uh, unplug from the ECU. Let's put it in one there shot, dude. Extra one shot. Bolts. Okay. I'm excited. So same thing as before, right, only, so only in think, reverse. Yeah, right. I think I'll do... It's a little tight, especially when you jam a bunch of extra wires in here. Yeah, they don't give you much on the uh, ECU plugs, but... No, they don't. Put that one in first. Get this one up here. Wow, yeah. Yeah, it's tight, but... They also probably didn't plan for you to take that thing out too much, so... Right. But hey, Rebels without a cause, bro. There, Extra power! There we are. Wedge this thing back down in. I don't think we have time yeah. for that clip. Pretty obvious where it sits. I think, I think we can go ahead and put the clip Dang in. Dang it! I just want you to start it so bad. Maybe you're right. 
I mean, that, that looks confusing. I mean, it's not as easy as it looks necessarily, but okay, it's in. All right, dude, start her up. Let's hope it still runs. Hope it still runs, come on, it's gonna be great. Oh yeah, baby! Listen to the power! The Sounds power! Good. Sounds good, let's take it for a rip. Heck yeah! She run, bud. It does run good. It does run good. I actually can tell a difference. Uh, Even stock. Yeah. So despite not having anybody out here to race against, I've run this a bunch of times, right? And I know this machine out here will usually get right to the top of third. You can grab fourth. I was when, just gonna say that. But you're out of space. Yeah. And out here now, I can cleanly get into fourth and hold it for a while. So you know. Yeah, I definitely want to race some guys I've raced before, um, but. Based on, you know, first impression, I think it definitely, definitely made a difference. So, really happy. So, rev limiters, rev limiters up. I think it runs a little cleaner down low when I'm blipping the throttle. Um, it seems to pick up a little better, seems to be fueled a little bit better. These things stock are really lean, right? So, I think they've taken care of that. I'm not getting any deceleration popping, which I used to get before. That's also usually due to a lean condition. Seems to have taken care of that. So, you know, for a stock tune, no exhaust on this thing, I'm pretty, pretty impressed. Heck yeah, dude. Worth the money, I'd say. Thank so. you, FTECU. Yeah, and then the tuning can grow with you, right? So you throw the right. tune on it, stock exhaust, you run it for a while, you save up some money, you put an exhaust on it, you just plug it back in, retune it, and you're good to go. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to worry about that. So yeah, two thumbs up. Thanks guys. Thing runs great.